get her out and look at the truck. Oh. And I need to go over to my Twitch channel with my microphones on. So, good evening everybody, my name is Ose. Tonight we are going to be playing European Truck Simulator. And Arthur won't be joining us. So, at the moment I have been pinned with me. There's, hey. a, there's a lot of people in Warsaw. Okay. I'll keep you here shortly. Okay, you in town? Okay, I'm, here. I'm here. Yeah, I'm at the garage. Oh, okay. I Good. checked that before... Uh, before I, uh, I'm sitting here waiting. So I'm going to work Let's put the high beam and beacons. And. Oops. There we go. Turn the flashes off. That doesn't look right, does it? Oh, high beam. Oh, no, front auxiliary, roof auxiliary. There we go. Right. Okay. So, back in the cab, which is a different key than farm sim. Well, uh, I can turn my high beams off. I can move the foot pedals so I can reach them. And truck is moving. I can't go over there. Because I've still got the baby garage here. Oh. <laughs> right, so are you ready to find a, a trip? Sure. Ah, job market, external contracts in three, two, one. Ding. Are you doing uh, length? I, I do it in descending route length, so the ones we actually want are near the end of the list. But descending route. Okay, so you do route, route length. Yeah. Okay. And where should end. we go? Okay, I haven't been to Clypeda, if that's an option. Pusis. Okay, a little bit further. Or we could head south or north. Oh, Latvia. Where was that? Oh no, that's way north. Russia. Oh, I'm on the front page, that's why. So where do you fancy going? Oh, I don't care. I'm not the one streaming, so. <laughs> I don't have to, to contend to keep people uh, excited. Oh, you got something going to Valmira? Uh, let's see, Valmira. It's on about the fourth page. Just above Castle, just below Parnu, or Palm. Parnu. It's north to Latvia. Parmu. Then I got Vigbor. Huh. Geneva. Oh, it's a, uh, it's high value cargo, so you might not be. I probably don't have it. Well, okay. I, yeah, I should have it. Vigborg, uh, Gothenburg. Stock. Okay, how's about copper roof gutters to row stock? Uh, 
or canned beef to roast stock. I don't see roast stock here. It's about middle of the. Ah, there it is. Four star to roast stock. Okay, roof gutters or canned beef. Got it. Yeah. So it looks like they're both going from the same place. They go both going to slightly different places. Okay. So pick one. Okay, I'm going to take the roof gutters, I guess. Okay. That's what I did too. Oh. <laughs> okay, head towards the green flag. And I am going to need to fill up with gas or diesel okay. at some point. Well, I'm good, so. And what we're trying to make sure is we don't turn around that little side road there, which I always do. <laughs> and we'll go down this one. Uh. Ouch. So Farm Simulator's got three new maps loaded. Oh, do they? Yes. Okay, I'll have to see about that. There Make is. Sure I load it down. There's a logging one, and um, one that has no fields. Oh. It just has land, so you're going to need to buy yourself a plow. You gotta make your own fields. And then you make your own fields. There's about five fields defined on the map, and then that's it. You know what? Let me go up here out of the way. Okay. Because that way you're not turning into me. <laughs> yeah. And then there's a big front loader bucket, which looked interesting. Yeah. Uh, I think that I think that was out already. Is already the new one. There's new new big front loader bucket. Huh. Or wheel loader, sorry, wheel loader bucket. Oh, wheel loader. Okay. Another fork for a bale fork for the front loaders. Ah. One with uh, the grab spikes. Yeah. Uh, we are playing on European 2. Are you going to be joining us, Pedro? Okay. reason my uh... there we go another convoy from Warsaw are you behind me somewhere yeah I'm right behind you okay so are we gonna wait for Pedro I'm not sure um... didn't he say he was gonna log in now Oh, he well, he did say which server we on, so I'm guessing yeah. he's logging in now. That's what it says on your thing, so I'm assuming oh, he's logging okay. in. So I'll... Okay, he's going to catch up. Okay. Now, I've got about half a tank, so we're good for now. Well, since we're waiting for Pedro, we could stop at the first gas station and wait. Yeah. Oh, and you can fill up. That was my plan. Okay. And then I've got to decide what we're playing tomorrow. Ah. I know what I'm playing tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Working on my tier. Yeah. Well, I 
could do warships. I could do another round of Estancia Lapacho. You could. You could do a lot of things. Or I could check out the new maps. Uh, there you go. Sneak peek. <laughs> And it'll be a f first look. Um, we are heading to Rostock in Germany. And if you want to join us on Discord, feel free. It does make things a little bit easier. You don't have to have a microphone, but it helps when we're getting trips, journeys, stuff. Whatever it is we're doing right now. So, I'm gonna take it up to 60 and then stick it on cruise. Okay. Around about 60 anyway. Oh, there we go. slow oh <laughs> oh we're gonna stop here shortly yeah anyway so yeah maybe I'll, I'll, I might I, I'll uh, kind of difficult to take a look at the maps during the day because obviously I've got to work but uh, I may take a quick look I'm probably not going to bother with the logging map because logging is a pain in the butt at the moment because there's no decent uh, forks yeah. I'll take. I'll probably take a look at the other two and then make a decision on which one I might start playing. Bing. Uh, I had to restart my Ravenport map because uh, I started that before the 1.2 patch, and I did some landscaping, and the landscaping has completely hosed everything up. Right. Hey, Pedro. Hey, that's one. Hey, doing good. We're at the gas station. Just outside town, on some road, going somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this time I restarted it. I've got. Uh, all Massey Ferguson equipment. Yeah, we're on the A2. A2, okay. Okay. Yeah, just yeah, out of town on A2. Yeah. Ju just past the toll booth. Have you picked up a job yet? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we picked up the jobs to Rostock. There was copper piping or corned beef or something like that. Canned beef. And they were they they're at the uh, stop right by the garage in Warsaw. Are you rolling, bin pin? Yeah, I'm rolling by behind you. Okay, I'll take it back up to sixty-ish. Okay. I'm poor. Rostock, Germany. R O S T O C K. My spelling works. So yeah, I need to start earning some money on this account. Yeah, for some reason my account in this one is, is a lot lower than my one in my other account. Yeah. I'm gonna start spending some time on here and build my accounts up. Well, the American one I've now visited visited every town. Yeah. And last week I bought 
a garage down in Southern California. Right. I think um, I was around when you did that last yeah. week. Uh, Somewhere around Carlsbad, is it, or something like that? Yeah. That's uh, north of uh, San Diego. Yeah. That, that now means, oh, there's a dude standing on the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> um, that means that I can now fast travel to... Um, New Mexico, Reno, Nevada, Southern California, right. and uh, right up by Portland. Well, you know, I think if I get a chance to actually talk to Arthur, I think what we should do is, and I use I use American map for an example, goes in Portland for a while. Yep. Until he figures out, okay, I got enough money to buy a garage, then he goes down to like uh, San Francisco or Reno, buys a garage in Reno, and does that for a while. Yes. And buys a garage there and then moves on down. That way we're not sitting at the same place. Right. All but the time. But we need to announce it so that everybody is buying garages in the same place. So we all have right. the option to fast path. Or even right. set, you know, if we decide, hey, we're going to be driving out of Flagstaff for a while. We all buy oh, yeah. a garage down in Flagstaff and set that as our home base right. well, that's so, what says, is, is, my thing is actually do it like a regular trucking your trucks in portland for a while we do that area okay now we're going to buy a garage in reno and then we then we then we do a, a convoy down in reno we buy everybody buys the, the station in reno that that that, that trip and that's where we start from again yeah yeah and then we stay that for a while and then we talk, discuss okay well next one is going to be fresno let's say just yeah. for okay, then we're going to take a trip to fresno and buy the garage in Fresno. But and the same thing for this one we should be doing, you know. That yeah. way we're going to different places and seeing different things. And I think it'd be better for even the viewers. Yeah. And always leaving in Portland and always driving from Portland to someplace. I mean obviously when they release Washington then having the base in Portland is good because we'll be able to start up there. Right. And that's the same with the if we systematically pick uh, places close to the borders yes then when they break up and then we have a spot okay we're gonna go there we can go you know across to the new territory right because there's rumors that the next ETS will be down sort of at the bottom of the map bottom right sort of Greece area, that type of place. So, uh, oh, yeah. um, is that the Balkans? No. No. We're in the Balkans. Uh, we're uh, in the Balkans, yeah. I can't remember what that area of Europe's called, but... Uh, yeah. 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 There, there's rumours that's the next one, so we might want to buy a garage down in uh, Austria. Right. But that's my thought. We should we should uh, start organizing a little bit better, and when we don't have a new map to go to, then we can go to uh, yeah. one of the old maps, buy in a garage someplace, and tour that map a little bit. Right, and visit everywhere. Right. Come on, open Sesame. Yeah. yeah. But I was hoping to bring that up this time, but yeah. maybe we'll bring it up next time. Well, I did make that a suggest. I did make that suggestion to him uh, quite a few weeks yeah. ago that we should we should okay. start planning an expansion. But um, you know, he needs to announce on uh, the Facebook page. Okay, the goal is to open a garage in Florence, Italy. Well. All he has to do, all, honestly, all he has to do is say is by such and such date, you need to make sure you have 200 whatever euros yeah. or 200 dollars uh, because we're going to buy a garage at the end of the, that run. 
yeah. and that garage is where we're going to be stationed at. Because who knows where we're going to go for that run that we can right. run for. Right, yeah. But letting people know that you have to have this much cash by that date, they yep. can, even, if they're, even if they're not driving with us, they can build cash uh, on the off schedule. It's, okay, I'll have the cash to, to buy a garage. Then we're going to move our home base to another garage. Yep. I mean, my main ETS2 account, I've got almost every garage in Italy now. Yeah, well, I'm not that convenient yet. I still well, got to work on that. That 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 was the expansion I was, you know, that came out when I set up that account. Oh. So uh, I, ju I just blitzed Italy entirely. Right. Um, oh. Oh, the prior, yeah, because the prior one was Scandinavia, so I, I, my, my, my home garage is up in Sweden somewhere. Right. But uh, I've, got some, I've got somewhere in the region of about 50 garages in that game now, or on that account profile. Right. And uh, I, I'm not kidding. You, you know, it's sort of, I'll take a short delivery, um, sort of 20-minute run, I get to the destination, I deliver what I've delivered, and I've got enough money to buy the garage in that uh, right. city, expand it to large, and probably buy two or three trucks. And then I get right. back on the road, and okay, I'll do another 20 minute trip, and I've got enough money to buy the small garage and um, fill out the, the, the previous garage to five trucks. Yeah. Well, hopefully, hopefully I'll be that way. I'll be get that way someday. But obviously, can't do that on multiplayer because you, you know, you're limited no. to the money you're making. Right. Well, that's why I went back to my primary since I did. I did have uh, just for uh, multiplayer that I realized as long as it doesn't mess up my game. Yes, and it doesn't uh, mess up your game anymore. That was the problem when I started. Uh, cool. Then. I don't have a problem using my primary. That way I continue to build that up in my single player mode and then whatever garages and whatever trucks I have, I carry over to here. Yeah. Because I was actually thinking, but I didn't get around to it, just making my truck pink. <laughs> just to mess with uh, Arthur and Fleet. But yeah. since they're not here, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm sti I'm sticking with the putrid green, metallic green. Well, I was going to use my my other truck, not this one. Uh -huh. So I'm actually going to end up buying some paint schemes and get a decent paint scheme that I like. Yeah, I don't have any other trucks on this account at the moment. On this profile, because normally what I'll do is I'll I'll put you know I'll keep this truck. Give right. it, give it to a driver, and uh, you know, get my own, you know, get a new truck for myself. I've been driving this for a while, so it's about time for a new one. Probably about time for a new one. Yeah, see, I, I just buy the cheapest truck and hire someone to drive it. That's how I did my. Oh, my single uh, player American profile. Trucker. Actually, yeah. what, my single player profile. What I do is I find a, um, a dealer the nearest dealer to the garage and i buy five wow. five of those trucks the cheap trucks right um because the the assumption is is well the local dealer is going to be doing the maintenance on the trucks potentially or i'm going to need the parts right. and so it's easier to visit the local dealer than it is to uh okay every truck's going to be a volvo uh, sort of yeah right. the, the nearest volvo dealer is five thousand you know 500 miles away it's sort of uh yeah, now in this town we're driving Mercedes, and in this town we're driving Scanias, oh. and in this yeah. town we're driving Ivaco because it's the closest dealership. Uh, so you kind of wrap it up just like it was real world. Yeah. Now the the, the trucks are all the same color. Right. But uh, it's uh, yeah, obviously. I, I hadn't thought that far. I just thought that. Uh, get everybody driving a cheap truck yeah it might give me some money coming in well i'm now at the point where every single truck has the biggest engine and is a 
six by four. Yeah. Well, hopefully I'll eventually be able to get that way. If I don't get wrapped up in the world of wars too yeah. much. I've yeah. been playing that constantly for since this weekend. When I when I started when I said I'll just try it, see if I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I've been playing playing that since open beta. I moved across from World of Tanks and about six months later I gave up World of Tanks. Because yeah. I'm old and I cr I'm crap. Yeah, you know, I'm not good with the hand-eye coordination, so I'm not doing first-person right. shooters. And World of Tanks is difficult, you know, kind of challenging. All right. Uh, Warships is generally easier for older people. Well, I yeah, I've uh, I started out charging in, then realized I need to. With my experience, I need to stay out. Yep. And I've been doing a little bit better with that. Still don't do a whole lot of damage. But... Well, that comes. And, uh, you know, some of that's aiming. I've, I mean, I can, right. do, I, I can fire some, you know, sort of dead reckoning, uh, oh, about there, fire, bang. And I can still hit right. stuff. Uh, what, one of the funniest ones was um, when, when a battle starts, I usually kick yeah. the throttle up to about half speed. Um, yeah and rotate the guns to one side or another right um, once the ship is moving then I look to see where everybody are you know what the distribution of the team is and make yeah. a decision on which way I'm going and then I'll I'll engage the rudder engaging the rudder from when the the battle starts is a bad idea because it slows your acceleration down and you, you know ah. You know, if, if you can get underway and at least half speed, you're going to turn, you know, pretty smartish. Well, so anyway, so the battle starts and I start, uh, you know, I rotate the guns out to one direction and I'm letting the speed build up and somebody spots a cruiser on the other side of the map. I'm in a battleship. So I sort of look at it and it's sort of... Uh, yeah, okay, fine, fire. The cruiser immediately disappears when I fired. But I was locked onto him. I forget completely right. about it. I look at the uh, the distribution of the team. And it's sort of, okay, everybody's going the other way. So I just turn right and head away from where I'd seen that cruiser. And, yeah. and kicking up to full speed in order to catch up the rest of the team at the cap they're heading for. Well, about 15 seconds later... You sunk an enemy cruiser. So, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Well, he he was in battle for all of uh, two minutes, if that. No, it, it wasn't even that. Because, I mean, my guns had loaded. So, less than a minute, and he was dead. So, yeah, uh, that's, that's what I did find about <laughs> that I've figured out about these battleships is they take a long time to load. Yes. You can't get in a slug. You can't get into a slugging fight. Uh, close up. You have to be. They're they're definitely a distance. Uh, fire or move. Well, they they are and they aren't. Just because you can sit at the edge of the map and fire doesn't mean it's a good idea to sit at the edge of the map and fire because they're not very accurate at long range. Oh no no I don't I don't mean that but I mean. But um, they. And, and different battleships, different flavors. Right. Um, things like uh, German battleships, you kind of want to be 12 kilometers from the target because right. your gun accuracy is completely appalling at long range. Right. And so you get up closer and your guns are far more accurate. Plus you've got secondaries that can potentially do 11 kilometer range. So you've got right. your secondaries are going off, plus your primaries every 28, 30 seconds. And um, that can be quite devastating. Well, I'm, I'm actually talking a slugging match with a destroy, uh, with another battleship. Yes. Uh, that's what I was... Because the, the, when I've been doing it, I've been going up against... And usually, there have been a couple tiers higher than me, so I've been trying to stay long distance. Oh, right, yes. <laughs> Long distance and try to take out one at a time from a distance. Take out most of the other small ships so I don't have to deal with the battleships. 
Right. I mean, the, the cruisers are, pa- are some of the most dangerous ships because they can dish out tons of damage. They're, they're a DPS. Right. Um, right. They dish out tons of damage, but they're very fragile. Right. So um, if you can get a cruiser in your sights, it, it's worth your while sinking him as quickly as you can. And a battleship right. can potentially do it in one shot if he's lucky. Right. And right now I'm, I'm keeping distance on almost all my ships until I've learned enough. Because, like, I'm still trying to figure out the torpedoes on a destroyer. Yeah. So I, know, I know the destroyer's fast. And I can get in and get out. And yeah. I can maneuver real quick. But I still can't get the torpedoes real well. No. Launched. But I still have to figure that all out. Exactly. Well, also, also, I mean, the other thing with destroyers is if you're under tier 5, yeah. for the most part, you can't stealth torp. So right. it, it, it's a YOLO, get as close as you can, launch torpedoes, and hope you don't die in the process. Um, once you get to about tier 5, there are a select number of destroyers out there that have torpedoes with a longer range than their visibility. Right. So you can cruise close-ish to an enemy target and launch your torpedoes and he never knows you're there. Well, my, my problem is not necessarily launching torpedoes, is actually the firing mechanism, how to figure out... Uh, the lead, you know, all that stuff. Okay. I haven't figured yeah. all that out yet. I mean, I know how to do it, I just haven't figured it out yet. Yeah. Uh, because even when I'm firing, I'm not I'm not firing the lead like I'm supposed to because I'm still trying to figure out, okay, what's all the... How do all this stuff work together? Right. But I have, I've actually have sunk a couple, hit a couple torpedoes by just by chance. <laughs> Yeah, it's you're playing PvE or PvP. Uh, Random battle or co-op. I'm kind of doing both. Okay. I'm trying to stay more more on PvP now instead of co-op. Right. Is that right? I mean, the the issue with um, with random battles is you're playing against other players, and if right. the other players are any good, as soon as they see a destroyer. They change course. So those torpedoes right. you just launched, they missed. Right. But I, yeah, I'm not so much uh, worried about that so much as I am. Is that if I can get, like I said, there's, you know, the lid, you have to have the cones in the right spot with the, and figure it out, okay, am I firing it when I'm supposed to be firing it for the correct lead for where yeah. that was? And I haven't got that actually down yet and I might actually have to go to uh, the uh, what are they called the co-op right battles to practice just to get that. To practice the idea yeah and once I figure the, the two together but because I, I realized I thought I was playing uh, is that uh, Pedro battles. behind us I don't see anybody behind me. Oh. I was just behind you and I forgot to uh, turn my headlights on. And I didn't see the warning in time. Oh. <laughs> How do I get back in once I've been kicked out? Do I have to leave the game and come back in? Yes. Yes. Oh, I had just caught up to you guys too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we all turn our lights on from start to finish now on. Well, I, I had my uh like my driving lights on but I forgot to turn my headlights on and wow. I missed it by like I, I saw the second warning pop up and as soon as I hit the button to do it it's like <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> yeah well that's why we all that's why well, at least why I always put my headlights on and I just keep, just keep them on I even yeah. got in the habit of doing that on my private yeah so I don't forget well, that's okay, the, that's really on. Angry, but I just I just forgot. I'll just yeah. pull over, log out quick, and come back in. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's the. Uh, I I I've always driven with my headlights on. As a car driver, well, I started off obviously a motorcyclist, and it right. really makes sense to drive with your headlight on because people don't see you. Right. 
Um, but uh, yeah, even when I started driving cars, I, I always drive with my headlights on. I just realized this is a four hour, five hour trip. Oh, it started off as a seven hour trip. Okay. And we oh, was it that long? Okay. Oh, yeah. I thought, we'd be, I thought we were just putting. But since we're, <laughs> since we're only doing 60 kilometers an hour, which is uh, 40 miles an hour, maybe 50. Um, going to take us a while. But as soon as Pedro catches up, we can kick it up to the speed limit. Yeah. That, that's the thing, because because we're driving in kilometers an hour, we're limited to much lower speeds than America. Yeah. Oh, we're at the border. So yeah, there, there, there were a couple of battles. Ye years ago, when I first started playing World of Warships, you could fire torpedoes on the track and pretty much hit everything you fired at. <laughs> because nobody, it seemed nobody knew how to go faster, go slower and turn. Right. And um, then people started getting wise and you know, you're driving a straight line for 30 seconds and then you change course. And right. then you drive in a straight line for 30 seconds and you change course again. And that really throws off um, a, you know, a destroyer captain. Right. Well, there was one guy I had fired. I was driving a tier 5 torpedo boat. So it's, um, what was it? Uh, torpedoes launch every 37 seconds. And I had six torpedoes in the water constantly. And I missed this guy every single time. So eventually I would fire two on the track and one in a random direction. And then torpedoes reload. Two on the track, one in a random direction. And eventually I started getting hits with the ones I fired off in a random direction. And it was completely unpredicted. It was just, I'm just going to fire some torpedoes over there. Because I know he's going to change course, and I don't know whether he's going to turn left or right or what. Speed up, slow down. Right. I just, you know, it, it's blind luck. And I hit him yeah. twice, and uh, he died. But, uh, that was kind of amusing. That's all it takes. Yeah. I just have to be right once. Right. You, have to, you right have to be time. right every time. <laughs> Okay, cool. Okay. Hi, BH. Hi, BH. How you doing? Yeah, as soon as you catch us up, let us know and we'll kick it up to speed limit. Shave off some time off this uh, trip. Well, I've made pretty good time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's about 10. Uh, left, right lane. Um, it's about uh, 10 minutes real time to the destination. done much driving in this part of the world on this profile.
You know, working on this cruise control works real well. Yeah. Oh. You sit at 60, and I'm sitting at 60. We stay the same distance apart. Yeah. Oh, I see you too. Okay. Okay. And there's another guy coming up behind me fast. Uh, okay. Oh. Um, we might need to move over. I'm not sure. I'm going to kick it up a bit. I'd say I'm probably about five truck, truck lengths behind you. Oh, I see you. Okay. Oops, too fast. What speed you going, Osa? 80. Okay, I'll kick it up to 80. Here comes that fast trucker on the left. Okay. Yeah, he's doing at least 100 because I'm still at 90. Right, when you do world contracts, you're actually limited, I think, to 90 on... Uh, yeah, you're If you don't do world contracts, you can go faster. That's the I don't know what the benefit of doing world contracts are, but I tend to, even in solo. Yeah, I, I don't either because you've got more time to do the external contracts. Yeah. You're not in a rush. Oh, yeah, I gotta sleep. I gotta get there in so many hours. It's the only problem is, is when. Sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> We're both too polite. Uh, what I was saying was the benefit for multiplayer is everybody's contracts are generally the same. Right. If you go with just the game contracts, you can each have different ones. Yes. All right. Although last week we did have problems when everyone took a double and there were two sets at the uh, location. The ones in the left hand parking bay were fine and everybody could just pull in there and take their load. But the sets on the right hand um, all spawned at the same time on top of each other. Yeah, I saw that and they were all stacked on each other. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, general rule is you can take singles, don't take doubles when you're multiplayer. If you take doubles, take different doubles, um, yeah. you know, different um, loads. Uh, what was that? Oh, loan installment. Good grief, that was half my money. All right. Close up this gap a little bit, then I'll drop back down to 80. Okay. But yeah, the, the only problem I've had so far with taking a world contract, I was doing it single player, and the server crashed. The, yeah, so the game keeps going. The load on the back of my truck disappears. Okay, back down to 80. And um, it's sort of, okay, fair enough, no problems. And I log back in a couple of days later, and it's sort of, okay, I, I need a new load. And it's said, no, you've already got a load. So what? Right. Oh, okay, resume the load. And, of course, I'm now delivering it 48 hours late. So we got heavily right. penalized on the trip. It's so not my fault. Your server crashed. Right. Oh, the other thing I got on Farm Sim was um, one of the modders has produced a couple of smaller houses. Uh, not on any official mod hub or anything. Um, you have to go hunting for it. Um, it's on modhoster.de. And there's a little greenhouse for $30,000. And a Victorian house for about $50,000, which are a lot cheaper than the sort of Ravenport and Felsbrunn houses, even after they're heavily discounted at 1.2. <laughs> 
and there's also an American style chicken house and hayloft that, that's actually sort of an American style barn with a couple of lean tos on the side so you can park stuff underneath did you play farm sim 17 I did very little uh, did you ever take a look at the old stream map old stream farm uh, no okay because that the, in in the farmyard there the kept the the cow um, barn had uh, a lean-to on the outside and the yeah. tipper, tipper trailer was parked underneath it um, I ended up parking my truck under there but uh, yeah that that that's kind of useful because obviously the the in-game hayloft is just hay in the front hay, the, hay out the back yeah this one it's a that it hasn't got a loading pipe but you basically you reverse your you know, the what the tipper into the barn yeah and press a button to unload it or press a button to load it so but look that, that all four of them look quite good they're all done by the same guy good well like i said some of the mods are they're starting to come out now yeah so i mean they uh, do have the. Uh, thank goodness they came out with the seed and fertilizer and all that oh, stuff. Oh, that was good. Yes. Just saves me. I'm tired of going to the store and having a fork lift. And tr God, that's the most stupidest thing I've ever heard of. Yeah. Which is all right if you got a small farm, but when you start getting those large farms and you're going through. Oh yeah. 30, 40,000 40, litres of seed in a season. Yeah. It's just, right. yeah. Although that said, I mean, you know, <laughs> you're, you're, you, you've seen on, on my Lawfolds farm, I, I typically go to the store with an organ wagon and right. load right. that up with seed and, you know, I can then replenish on field. Well, like I said, everybody has their own way of doing it. Oh, yeah. Just, just the fact that you have to do it figure out a way to do it for yourself other than just just have it on my farm so I can drive up to it just like I would if I'm real life I would order it and have it shipped to my house yeah when I have that large a number the only issue is is you um, it's always worthwhile doing a test to see how much you're getting charged for the stuff right but yeah, but you, but you, you know, you you get you get paid more. You pay more to have it shipped to your house than if you were to get. Where's my food? You got food in the other room, Cass. Yeah. Go on. Hi, Jeremy. Hey, are you are you in route or are you? We are traveling at the moment. We're about. Okay. Oh, we're we're nearly at our destination, so we could beam oh, back to Warsaw yeah. when we're done. No, I've got all about it. I've got all about trucking mine. Ah. I was thinking, I was thinking, Slowly. I wasn't looking the stream, so, I forgot you were the are you streaming? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, do you want to join us? Um. <coughs> Stop um, me. What? I'm not stopping. No, 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 you're fine. We're right at our destination now. Oh, okay. So, uh. No, I'd have to somehow get to you. No, it's all right. We could beam back to Warsaw. Yeah. yeah, yeah. European track. Yes, ETS yes. on on Euro Euro Server Two. Yeah, I might I might go on for a minute. Okay. I go ride with him. some uh, pork chops and potato uh, lights red red lights huh? stopping oh yeah <coughs> yeah that's um, 
Hail Team. That was my findings on Farm Sim 17. But uh, ah. the in the in farm um, supply points are a lot more expensive than going to the store and buying right. bags. Is this our destination? Yes. Okay. Stop it. Oh yeah. Oh, I've done that a few times. <laughs> mm, that was a little bit too sharp. Surprisingly, second server. Yes, second server. <coughs> right now, the hot hail team. If you're on a PC, you can edit. Um, the value of the big bags, uh, yeah. not so much the big bags, but some of the you know things like the uh, the sort of attachable crane on the back that you yeah. can get. Um, okay, so we're done there. I want to fast travel to Warsaw again. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Then we can join up with Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> 